We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. We could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that a globalised diet of ultra-processed foods is having a negative impact on both human and planetary health. Carbon copied corn lines up to fill the shelves. A litany of yellow mangled into nauseating rainbows of our globalised excess. Colours of artifice, carefully arranged to catch the eye. Hydrogenation moulding dyes, stabilising flavours, lies. Nutrients torn from the cob, leaving open wounds filled with greenbacks across a land that could have lasted forever. This poem is inspired by recent research published in BMJ Global Health, which has found that an increase in the consumption of ultra-processed foods is damaging both human and planetary health. Ultra-processed foods are those foods that go through multiple processes, such as extrusion, moulding, milling, contain many added ingredients and are highly manipulated. Examples include soft drinks, candy, ice cream, packaged soups, chicken nuggets, and ready meals. These types of foods are less filling and raise our blood sugars higher than minimally processed foods. They are also generally higher in calories and sugar, lower in protein and fibre, and are associated with higher risks of obesity, heart disease and stroke, type 2 diabetes, cancer, frailty, depression and death. Yet despite the fact that ultra-processed foods are so obviously bad for human consumption, they are now the basis of our globalised diet, becoming dominant in the global food supply with sales and consumption growing in all regions and almost all countries. In this new study, researchers highlight how this lack of diversity is not only having a negative impact on human health, as a result of dietary patterns worldwide becoming increasingly more processed and less diverse, the planet's agrobiodiversity, i.e. the variety and variability of animals, plants and microorganisms used directly or indirectly for food and agriculture, is also diminishing. Today, 90% of humanity's energy intake comes from just 15 crop plants, and more than 4 billion people rely on just three of them, rice, wheat, and maize. This lack of agrobiodiversity is bad because it reduces the gene pool, thereby making it harder for agriculture to adapt to global environmental changes such as climate change and desertification. Furthermore, ultra-processed food production uses large quantities of land, water, energy, herbicides and fertilisers, causing further environmental degradation in addition to the accumulation of unnecessary packaging waste. As such, this new globalised diet is severely damaging both the humans that consume it and the environments that are used to produce it. This study concludes that researchers and policymakers need to highlight the destruction of agrobiodiversity caused by ultra-processed foods and to agree on policies and actions designed to slow and reverse this disaster. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Carbon copied corn lines up to fill the shelves, a litany of yellow mangled into nauseating rainbows of our globalised excess. Colours of artifice carefully arranged to catch the eye, hydrogenation moulding dyes, stabilising flavours lies. Nutrients torn from the cob, leaving open wounds filled with greenbacks across a land that could have lasted forever. In this
this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Strict Diet by James Cruz. James Cruz is an American poet, editor and teacher who was born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri. He holds an MFA in creative writing from the University of Wisconsin-Madison and a PhD in writing and literature from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and is the author of four collections of award-winning poetry, including The Book of What Stays, published in 2011, Telling My Father, published in 2017, and Bluebird, published in 2020. Cruz also leads mindfulness and writing retreats online and throughout the United States, and works as a creative coach with groups and individuals. Strict Diet by James Cruz Though the doctor said no salt, salt was all my father craved, his body bloated, skin waterlogged and grey. Still he wanted potato chips, honey-baked ham, greasy slabs of Polish sausage from Piet to Kowalski's. He begged for pepperoni pizza, garlic butter, ribs slathered in sauce. But when I did the shopping, I searched only for labels that said low sodium and no preservatives instead, bringing home heads of broccoli, turkey burgers, shredded wheat. And when he died anyway, Guilt gnawed me like an ulcer. How could I have denied him his final few pleasures? Until I found Big Mac wrappers stuffed under the car seat, jars of pickles in the hall closet and hidden among wads of tissues near the nightstand. His stash, a half-used canister of salt. I sat down on his sagging mattress, now stripped of stained sheets, and studied that blue label with the girl in the yellow dress, holding her umbrella against a rain of salt still falling from the sky. Thank you for listening to The Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of The Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.